arrived with police escort. You did? I know this. Yes. I've been wandering around the world in Vermont. Um, there we go. We're just going over the notes from the Google Doc. Um, oh, listen, I like that. I have a list of books. I'll go on there. Okay. Oh. Tightrope Walker, is that the one that you just took? I'm already. Tightrope Walker? The David Allman book? Yeah. Yeah? Has anyone actually read it? No. I think he's weird, but whatever. Take books. I want all these books. A lot of these are things I have in boxes that I send to all the rings. Like I have some of these rings. Not for me, no. Oh, you might have some that you've ordered for school. But. Um, Black Dove, White Raven, we've already heard. It's fabulous. Um, books that she wants to read. She wants to know if she should bother. No True Echo. Is that one that Aaron liked? I was a big fan. Yeah, that was the one that I sort of pushed for a little bit ago. Awesome. Joyride. I haven't heard of that one. Undertow. Somebody talked about Undertow. I think I did in my... Super long list of books. Yeah, Michael Buckley's kind of hit or miss. Yeah. Okay. But I think that one was mostly a hit, personally. Okay. Cool. All right, I'm going to close this document. So we can see you. Um, hello again. So we have hello again. people... I know when I have a document open, I can't see you guys, and you guys can't see me anyway because I have my back to you. But um, all right, so let's we went through Aaron's list. Um, let's talk about what other books. So today um, we are talking about books that you read that you love that not enough people have read yet, and I'm making a list of books um, that I need to harass the publishers about. Wow, you're so organized. And Laura's handing out lists. Um, so, look, fabulous. <laughs> um, all right, so Paige, do you have um, books that you really love that you'd like to see more people read? Uh, I guess um, we went over a few of them already. I thought How It Went Down was fabulous. Um, and also kind of important as a discussion to have right now. Um, pretty relevant. Black Dove, White Raven, we talked about. Um, I read <coughs> uh, Ember in the Ashes. I also really liked as far as like a fantasy uh, book. Um, and then two that we haven't talked about. I read um, My Heart and Other Black Holes. I just Which, did that. I did. Uh, yeah. Um, was published in 2014, but I thought it was really interesting. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it at all because the I didn't I read the summary and I was like, mm. but I really uh, liked it and I thought it was an interesting, um, like a very different book and a very interesting topic to have a book be about. Um, and I read it very, very quickly <laughs> once I got into it. And then the other one um, that I just really liked was um, a graphic novel, uh, Pneumona. Which oh, I just really, read that. Yeah. Really, really cute, and I thought really important, and talked about good versus evil, and how that's not it's not always that easy. And so those would be my two were my five that I had read. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to um, go talk to the people who are in this room. Are you hearing us okay? Uh, for yes. the most part, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the microphone, so we'll hope that it picks it up. All right. Peter, you got here first. What do you want to pitch? So things that... I really like that aren't, aren't getting much. That aren't getting enough love. Yeah, okay, hold on, let me get my list up here. Things I really like that aren't getting enough love. Super Mutant Magic Academy by Julian Tamaki, graphic novel. 
Um, I'm, so it, it appears on the list that I'm the only one that's recommended it. So I just don't know if other people aren't reading it or. Um, the Ghosts of Heaven by Marcus Cedric. One Thing Stolen by Beth Kephart. I like that a lot, too. I think I read that. I think I felt nice about it. Has anyone else read it? The title sounds familiar. About the yeah. girl in um, Florence. Ah, yeah, I did. I just read that one a little, a few weeks ago. What, what did you think? think? Well, I didn't find it particularly memorable, as is evidenced by the fact that I didn't remember it. But while I was reading it, I liked it quite a bit. It's really engaging, and it has a really interesting concept. Yeah, I, I like the characters. I just really think her last book too that I tried to get people to like, but they didn't like it. <laughs> Called uh, Going Over. It was a historical fiction with the Berlin Wall. Uh, another, another one is uh, Van Gogh by Timothy de Pombello. I don't know how. No, no, no. I was thinking it was already told the sequel on that. No, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I you should put it on the list. No, um, yeah, I, I will. It only came out in 2014. Okay, yes, we should definitely. Um, let me see. I, I'm on, I'm on the um, Armada by Ernest Klein. Um, How did you feel? It, like so I... it's okay, but I think there's a population of readers that okay. is just going to devour it, like Ready Player One. Okay. Um, but I, I personally just thought it was okay, but I really. That's a weird nomination, but I think it's worthwhile. Okay. Um, and then ones that have only a couple, Eden West by Pete Hotman. I love that book. Everyone has to read that book. It's awesome. And um, Skyscraping by Cordelia Jensen. Oh, I would like to second that one. I did oh, that's read novel. that one and, and liked it. It's set in the it's set in the early nineties. Um, girl finds out that her father is finds out two things at the same time that her father is actually gay and that he has AIDS and she's dealing with that whole bombshell. Wow. Um, and then yeah, huge second or third for Nimona. Um, and then a couple, few of the other ones have a few votes, so I don't, I don't need to go okay. in on those. So the list. Can you guys see my screen? The list that I'm typing up? Yes. Yes. Okay, this list is a list. Oh, yeah, I vote for the moment. Absolutely. Excellent. Um, this list is going to be the list that I'm going to go through and hound the publishers about. So okay, make sure. So there's other ones that I. Yes, we're going to go around and make sure that your favorite books end up on this list. Okay. So, all right, so Peter, you got. Yeah, you know, check out, I read these because everybody else seems to be giving them recommendations. Right. Good. Okay. So, um, the one I really want to push Tell us. is uh, I'll Meet You There. Oh, you just said it Yeah. yeah. Was no, that one that was in the boxes? Yes. Yeah, it was. Three. Okay. It's about three. Okay. Don't have, don't have trails. Mm -hmm. That one has gotten rave reviews. Oh, everybody I've recommended it to me has, has you know, been writing me emails and said, this is a fantastic book. This is yeah. one of, mm -hmm. this is moving. And boy, she's really got it. You know, not many of these people are writing about poverty, and she really is. Good. She really, really is. Mm -hmm. You're good. Oh, and the other one, let's see if I can find it. Um, what was that book called that you just were talking about? Um, we were talking about um, I'll, meet you there. I'll Meet You There. Okay. I think we think it was in box three. Uh, I think so. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go to the other part of my house where all the books are so I can find them. Well, this is the time when you want to start trading with your partner. If you have books that, I know, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it in person. 
That's quite all right. It's totally understandable. How about Silvera? Silvera? More happy than Chad. Did anybody read that? No. Yeah, uh, that's another one about poverty. Wait, which one is it? It's more happy than Chad. Oh, more happy than Chad. Oh, more happy than Chad. Um, yeah. That's a tear tracker. Well, not all the way through, but at the end, I mean, it's um, it's, oh, 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 so, yeah, uh, that's, it's the flip side of Simon versus the Hope of Homo sapiens. Which makes everyone happy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that book is my happy place. Oh, no, well, well, try more happy than sad. And, <laughs> and, and, yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing about coming out. Okay. And what happens only this time. He gets beat up. Oh, he gets. Oh. All right, you have um, the porcupine of truth on here. Was that the book that, that book Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca loved? Yeah. And Rebecca. you have it. Did you make which one? Uh, the porcupine of truth. What did you think? Yeah, that's. I got that. And you liked it. I. I liked it. I think a lot of that was face was not that great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I liked it. I don't it was one of those books that I would read the whole thing through, and I think a lot of people could like it as well. So I don't think it was a bad book necessarily. That was my first book. Well, that was a Where they realized one of these all the way through. I mean, they were good enough for that. To read. No, wait a minute. Uh, I didn't <laughs> think it was the darkest part of the forest, but Marshall mm -hmm. loved it, so. Well, I, I quit after 50 pages. I said, I can't Did stand you? this anymore. All right. And hey, I'll read anything. <laughs> well, I'll just put Portia Planet Truth on the list because like, it sounds like more people need to read it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you didn't like the prom goers interstellar excursion? Which one? The prom goers interstellar excursion? I I thought it was. Oh, well, fun. I enjoyed the first half. Okay. And then it got really kind of silly at the end. Wait, who else read it? Somebody else read it. I thought it was weird. Did you like it? I mean, it was very clever until it stopped being clever and they tried to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Panich, uh, Amanda Panich damage counter? Can anybody do that? Well, no. I didn't dare recommend it because it's about a school shooting. And it is a real horror story. Jeez, I couldn't get it out of my mind for days, and it's still kind of bad. Wow. So I it's that's that's actually 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 very good, and it's extraordinarily disturbing. That what was that called? Damage. Damage done, done. by Amanda Pennell. Oh, that's in my box. And I think it was in oh, box. Oh, it's in the box already? Mm -hmm. It's in box. Four. Okay. Then you guys have it already. Except the list I got with box four didn't have all the books in it. The, the lists are online. Yeah. I think she sent me a list afterwards. Was that box if box you ever need four. any, Aiden, my assistant, has everything organized. Don't okay. worry. Okay. All right. Is there anything anyway, else? Anyway, that's it's it's worth looking at. Sorry. Yeah. Don't read it before you go to bed at night. Oh, nice like bright you. morning. <laughs> that's really good. Right. <laughs> I can't have any breakfast book. <laughs> what about a hundred sideways miles? That's yeah. last yes. year, but it was yes. last yes. November. Exceptional. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's the new hub pen. Did you? I didn't read it yet, no. Okay. Well, it's I'm interested to know what you think of that. Because it's very much a guy's book. And you might find the third sex obsessed masculine vision a new thing. Well, that's what Andy Smith does. But it's, yeah, he does it for real. Well. Cheeks. <laughs> um, all right, anything else that you want to push, Laura? Anything else that you want to? I like uh, Princess X. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good in crossing genres. And you want to see more. Besides, it's a really good thriller, um, a techie thriller. Good. So, and it crosses genres. And that's cool. Perfect. Um, those, the only two that I gave six points out of five to were uh, 100 Sideways Miles and I'll meet you there. All right. So, Laura's giving big plugs for I'll Meet You There and 100 Sideways Miles. I'll make sure you guys get copies of those. All right. Okay, All right. Ellen, you're up. <laughs> so let's see. Porcupine of Truth. Um, Challenge of Deep I Try. Um, I thought it was good. I think it's something you should put on the list probably for everyone to look at. I okay. wasn't like overly. <laughs> okay. I didn't like but, it for what it's meant to. I thought it was really good. I loved it. Yeah. You just like it? I really liked it. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we swore people need to read it. Yeah, I think it's definitely something that a lot of people will. Um, and then, let's see. I have more happy than not on here. Um, Make You Up was one I read by Francesca Zampia or something. Um, and I didn't know what to make of it, so I would love to get some more opinions on that one. Perfect. It's another, it's about, a lot of the ones I read actually went through schizophrenia, which was interesting that <laughs> all the books I had. Um, but huh. yeah, it's about a teenage girl with schizophrenia. So. Yeah, beautiful cover. Yeah, I know. Um, that was her name. Uh, Francesca. Yeah. And then, let's see. All the Rage I read last night. It's by Courtney Summers. And that's another one I would love to get an opinion on. It's about a teenage girl who's raped. And basically, her uh, struggle with it, that because no one believes her and the kind of thing that's going on behind that. So, so I we're looking know. for happy books right now. Yeah. Okay. So that one was a very um, sad one, but I feel like there was, I don't know. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, and then Every Last Word. I liked that one. I vote for that too. Every Last Word. Every Last Word. <laughs> You did like that. I did, yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay. Very encouraging to writers. Very good. Um, Anybody else read that? Every last word? Somebody put it on the list, I think. And then one more, which I know is in the boxes. I think it has more than each other, but all the right places I like this one. Yeah, that one's getting a lot. Okay. That book annoyed me. I didn't like it at all. You didn't like it. I tried it twice, and <laughs> I didn't like it even one time. I liked it. Have you read the, I liked it. I think somebody just, he just talked about um, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Death and Women. Have you read that one? I don't think so. Oh, no, it's okay. I just, that I one like that one a lot. lot. With all the right places, mm -hmm. the sense that you have, you know, there's sort of the suicide pact aspect to both books. Definitely. And a lot of people, I feel like a lot, I've been hearing people liking the Jasmine Wargo one a lot better. In all the right places, but I, I wonder if they'll both end up getting on our read list because I feel like they feel it could be a really interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, Paige and Aaron, did you guys either of you guys read um all the bright places or um my heart my heart I, read, I loved my heart and other black holes. Okay. I, I really like that one. I did not I haven't read all the bright places though. Okay. I haven't read either yet. Okay. What box was that in? They weren't in either box. They haven't been. I'll make sure you guys get that one. Okay. Jeez, um, I've read so much. I thought for sure. <laughs> I, it's impossible. There are You're going to send us the switch. Well, I'm going to try to get you the books. Um, oh. I'm gonna. What I'm going to do But if you send us a list, some of us have the books. I have some of these books. True, true. And my library and my library has been very, very good on the library now. Good. They're fascinated. They said, Oh, if you think it's gonna be there, let us know. That's true. This is true. Um all right. Any other ones that you want to push for? Okay. Did anybody like Mind Walker? Schneider? Mind Walker. It was all right. I wasn't overly thrilled. Okay, I thought it was one of the 
for interesting dystopians um, because it had to do with them moving around in other people's minds. And, um, okay, I can see. What about the walls around us? Did anybody like that? Oh, well, what about the bell? I think I read it. That's the one about the girls in prison. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. that was very good. The walls around us. Yes. Suma. No, oh, I read that. Suma. Oh, my the gosh. The walls around okay, us. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. I did. I downloaded it. That was a long time ago. I think I forgot to download it. But oh, I loved it. Yeah, I actually want to read that one. Okay. I'll put it on the list so we can get a copy of it. The Canto West. Wow. It sounds so familiar. It has a beautiful cover with like blue and red. Oh, I totally see. I think I have that book in my. It, it, I think it might be in that aisle, maybe. Or if it's not, it's on my shelf at Warps. Where are all these coming from? Those you guys are taking home with you. Um, the so, Kidney Hypothetical? I liked that book. It got nominated a couple times. Yeah, how many? Um, how many? High school realism books can we recommend? Many do you want? It seems to then become a genre. That's one of them. Um, and it's the same idea as, oh, what's the other one? Um, Saint Anyone, Saint Anything? I like mm -hmm. that one. Yes, I like Saint Anything. Hmm. No? Just okay for me. Yeah. No? Okay. I love okay. I'm putting it on so uh, more people can read it. Well, it's on the, it's on the um, I think it has, like, it has three, or votes, four, right? three or four votes. So I think yeah. it has more than that. For real? Yeah. I tell you that I didn't get to attention. It has two. It has two. Yeah. Okay, just two. Cool. All right. Do we get everyone, Kaylin? Yeah. Cool. Masha, do you have anything you want to push? Um, on your last day, desperate pushes? Bend and Little. What? Bend and Little's death Did day. They? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> so funny. Wait, Bend and Little died. like that? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Like that? Yeah. Date. 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 Like that? Yep. Yeah. I loved it. Like, yeah, you like black stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's true. Um, Who's the author of that one? Lance Rubin. Yeah. Okay. The cover's hilarious. I did it on audio and it was. Was it? Yeah, I was just cracking up. It reminded me a lot of Going Bovine. Um, same sort of death idea that's going on there and same sort of humor. I think humor is always good. All right, anything else? Um, I liked, it didn't, some of the boxes, I liked um, Cuckoo's. Yes. Oh, that was called? oh yeah. yeah. I really liked that one, too. Creeped me out in a good way. Yeah, it was a bit creepy. But um, the kids are in my library. So. Big, tough guys. Yeah. Oh, no, put that down. <laughs> it's a doll with a crack. Yeah, yeah, My mom actually oh. made me take the dust cover off the book and put it back in the box while I was reading it so she wouldn't have to look at it. Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. The cover is yes. correct. Like, yeah. Let me let me oh, find oh, the Oh, that's a different version of it. Yeah. yeah. It's this one. There's one, yeah. The doll said. Oh gosh. There it is. Yeah, it's a little bit creepy. Yeah. There is another cover that yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I had to hide that book from Aiden. <laughs> it was sitting on his desk looking at him. Holy cow. That's rough. Okay. The teens will love it. You liked it? Yeah. Okay. All right, what else you got for us? Um, I want to say everything else I liked has already been. Uh, that's actually not a bad thing because this list is getting long. Right. We don't want to have to read everything. Um, um, one thing stolen, I like. Um, oh, yeah, the cat part one? Yeah. Um, I haven't, as you can imagine, I haven't done that much reading. Yeah, that's quite all right. <laughs> you fuzzy. I would say if I can push for Denton Little, I would be happy to play. Yeah. 
Would you push the one thing stolen or no? <coughs> I don't think she'll make it this time. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I really think well, she's. Okay. I think her. She has a very distinct, like nice lyrical voice. Yeah. In, in every one of her books, it's it's kind of. Weird. I feel like some of her books are kind of forgettable though. Yeah. All right. So what you got for us? I think a lot of them have already been named. Um, okay. let's see. Is it too old Station Eleven? Too old published? Um, oh. I liked it. I thought it was really interesting. I just published for adults, right? Yeah. I think it's twenty fourteen. It's twenty fourteen. Yeah, um, okay. I'd like others to read it. I thought it was really interesting. Station, Station 11. 11. Yeah. And it was a national award finalist last year from 2020 for adults, not for teens. Okay. Um, Bone Gap. How many nominees, nominations have been for Bone Gap? Like three or four? A bunch. I'd like other opinions on that. I thought it was interesting. Three. Again, Challenger Deep. I really like that one. Loves 100 Sideways Miles. Um, those were the ones in Cougar Song I really enjoyed recently. So those are the ones that I would. Bone Gap wasn't in the boxes, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And I think we have already named um, the darkest part of the forest, right? Game of Love and Death. Um, yes. And I, that one was one. Where is it? We have Symphony Game of Love and Death. Death. Yes. Yeah. What did you like about Bone Gap? It just was quirky, um, and I liked the twist at the end. Not the supernatural twist at the end, but there was the discovery of what actually was the reason behind the brother not being able to be able to say what happened. I thought that was fascinating. I did not expect it. Okay. I liked everything except the fantasy crap at the end. Yeah, that's yeah. all the last I, I got, So I, I liked other opinions. I liked it a lot, but then there was other stuff, and I was like, okay, it's not that good. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind other opinions. Um, I was just long listed for National Award, too. Yeah. Mm. It was. Um, oh, has anyone else read Audacity? No. Yes. I. It wasn't my favorite. It but you talked about it last time. Yeah. I liked it. But I wouldn't go to bat for it. But I'd be interested to hear other people's opinions. <laughs> did did it's anyone else read Audacity? That's a verse. It's, a verse. it's yeah. in verse. I feel bad. She's a DCF anyway. I don't know. It's a topic I love. I don't have enough meat to it. But I also, I have other versions of books in, ver in verse, so. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to hear Audacity. It's um, about a young girl, based on a true story. Oh. Women's suffrage. Did you read it? And yeah, I read it, and it was like the kind of books, book that the book was supposed to be the story, or leads right up to That's the interesting. So she just said she thinks that it read like books Adults want kids to read. That could be. I don't know how many are going to pick it up. Stretch me. But I found it fascinating. <coughs> I don't know. And she used poetry to cover up. She didn't cover up her search. She hadn't done, but she used the poetry to not say a whole lot of other stuff. I mean, you can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, what else you got for us? I think all the others have been, have been said. mentioned. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, can I have one more? Of course. Uh, just because Jerry just reminded me. Like Water on Stone by Dana Walrath, which is another verse novel. Water on Stone. It's about the Armenian genocide. Oh. oh. So I'm read that. And she lives right around here. Yeah, she's a she's a professor at UVM. Dana awesome. Walrath. Yes, I've been wanting to read that. Okay. Oh shoot, what was my perfect novel I like so much that you wanted to buy? Because you like it here. Or the woods. <laughs> yeah. Through the woods. Yeah, through the woods. I like it all. Western. I don't know. I don't know. It has two or three. 
Okay. It's really What about what if? Yeah. Did anybody read what? I voted for Talk about books a lot. I thought, was that in the box? No. 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 Yeah, it's a non, it, was in, it was in the box? Yeah, well, it was. Geez. It was an A box. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, maybe, I still, we haven't done all of our trades. I think it was in box one. Yeah, I will, um, I'll double check. Is that the serious answers? Yeah, that's the serious oh. answers to hypothetical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. fun. Yeah. And okay. it's the type of one where it's cool because you can just pick it up, read a couple, you know. Some okay. students like it. They're, they're always picking it up and just touching it. Yeah, I thought, no, I thought the high school library should be without it. Yeah. You know, so the kids can sort of, you don't have to read. Right. At all, I, I do say, what about cool, these cool questions? What, what happened if you pitch a baseball at the speed of light? <laughs> Boom! Right, and then a nuclear explosion. Hey, did you know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. All right. You have any more? This. Okay, good. Can I? Sorry. I, I or is that you said? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to add, uh, I think someone's up there. I think I only want to add. One or two more. Okay. So The Wrath of Dawn, Kara recommended it to me on Goodreads. I just read it. It is freaking awesome. It's a retelling of Scheherazade, A Thousand One Arabian Nights. Did you oh, not shit. like it? It's romantic. <laughs> I loved oh, it. It um, reminded me so much of Lady Taylor. Oh, I was smoked out. Kara looked like a little bit of this and that. I don't want to get into it. I'm terrified to finish it. Okay. Okay. Started it. He's read it. I have not yet. I think it's I know, I just did all my nominations while I was sitting here, so I think that's a little comfort, so I just put that in for you. And, uh, oh, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, so. I think that's, I, I definitely wanted to talk about My Heart and Other Black Holes, but that's up there already. Yep. And I wanted to talk about, oops, I Am Princess X, but that's already up there. So I think, yeah. Good. That's the end one. Yep. Okay. So we've got a good list here. Just note to the Silvera book, which is a great book. I didn't love it. It's actually called More Happy Than Not, just so you know. All right, where am um, I? Somewhere under skyscraping and Eden West. This is More Happy Than, more uh, happy than Not. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this list, and I'm going to contact, I'll email it to you guys, and then I'll contact the publishers and beg them for copies. And um, so the next thing I want to talk about is what's being. Oh, just Sharon. Yeah. I just have one more that I thought of while everyone else was talking Tell about. Um, I thought uh, Belzar was interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it also takes place in Vermont, which is kind of cool. Uh, uh, but it's, I thought it was really cool. I mean, it's a book about kids who are having rough time in the school. They take the school class and they analyze Sylvia Plath who I really like as a author. So, um, I don't know. I, I wasn't like crazy about it, but I did think like, oh, it's like set in Vermont, and it's cool that it has this literary component about Sylvia Plath without actually being a, about Sylvia Plath. I don't know. Yeah, I liked it. I, I'm i not sure I liked it enough to pull it forward. It has the sort of I don't know, the ending kind of was preachy, I felt. Yeah. Um, I was fine I, with it till the last, what, yeah. 40 pages yeah. when all of a sudden the teacher who hasn't been there becomes a major character and give us, gives us a lecture on how, how you should study more humanities so you won't get <laughs> yeah, but you exactly. won't get sick in the head anymore. I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I've been studying humanities all my life and I'm still in erotic so it didn't work. So, <laughs> yeah, up until the last 40 pages, it was really quite interesting. And then when you find out what's really happened, that's interesting. So why did she go and tromp all over it? Yeah, I was, I was, I got sore at it because it had promised so well. And then she messed it up. 
I also didn't like the title because, you know, they'll think you're reading The Bell Jar. And so that was kind of, I was kind of irritated with that. Yeah. What are you reading? Oh, The Big Black. No. Not actually. The Bell Jar. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is books that are coming up. Um, that haven't come out yet, or that you are dying to read, and you want me to beg the publishers for. So, for example, um, I want to say Libra Bray has a new book coming out. Oh, wait, it's, it's a, a sequel. It's a sequel. Okay. It's a sequel to The Divine Years. Okay. So, maybe not. Um, I know Jennifer Donnelly has a new book out. Oh, I just saw that. Yeah, let me see. Um, I just got it, and I want to read it. I'm not doing it to you. Hey, yes, Katie. Has a new one coming out. It's, right, yes. So let me um can you get those titles on the screen? Yeah, I need to look them up first. Okay. Um The Shallow Graves. This game is like called I Scroll Through It, I believe. Is it? I scroll through it? I scroll through it. I crawl through it. Yeah. Yeah. I like I your title better. <laughs> I've already marked it to you. Let's just change it. I crawl through it. Sue has it over here. Oh, wow. Cool cover. Ooh, that looks promising. What's Jennifer Donnelly's new one called? Shallow Graves. These Shallow Graves. The cover looks awesome. Um. Yeah. Oh, we need to stop looking at that picture. <laughs> that's disturbing. I second the, um, I haven't read it yet, but I've been excited for the one that Stacy recommended, Martine Levitt's Calvin. Oh, I'm right. Wait, they look good. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ever since my book of life, the angel was, <laughs> like, was no, dissed no, by all hey, of you. Hey, wait a minute. That's not what we want. Who wrote it? Yep, my book of life, the angel was... I knew you were going to mention my book of life by Angel as soon as I saw that that said Calvin by Martine Levitt. Yep, exactly. And it's Martine Levitt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Schizophrenia. It says, a more schizophrenic team believes that no life is escaping from his illness. He creates one more Calvin in his comic book. Yep. <laughs> his fate is linked to the comic book character. Are we seeing a theme for this year's list? I've heard readings. I've heard, I've heard a reading last, last a couple of times. It's, yeah. It sounds really yeah. Um, yeah. Let me just look. Who else? Who's it? When did the illness is? Okay, thank you. That happened with the Katrina books on the PTF list. We we had like four of them, and we didn't put any of them on. Oh, I know you guys want to read. Oh, Life After Death. Yeah. Life and Death or something. The Twilight oh, novel. Oh boy, that's so exciting! I can't wait to hear how. <laughs> Oh, come on. You, know, you and Edith are doing as... Say, I am leaving the Enosburg Library, and I do not have to purchase that before I go. Yay. Oh, I will never. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> I had a plan to put a whole thing on how anti-feminist it was. How it was. And how it was utter trash. And uh, yeah, her, her outside examiner stood up and chewed, so. <laughs> All right, I'm just looking at the new releases on Amazon just to see if we can, um, if there are any on here that anyone's heard anything about. I was just saying what you But we can't do, we can't do trilogies, right? And they we have to be able alone. to stand alone. So it has to stand on its one. own. <laughs> yeah, it's That's unusual. Enough. Okay, there's Rachel Rawls. What's such a great yeah, reason not to get all know. these volume twos and volume three? Yeah, I guess it's pronounced. It has a couple. It has four. Oh, here we go. Um, 
Oh, there's a new Marissa Meyer. Do we have any Marissa Meyer fans here? I, mean, I, I love Marissa Meyer, yeah. but that's definitely going to be the one, like, at the end of her huge trilogy, of oh, quadrilogy. Yeah, exactly. This is number four, so okay. that counts. Quadrilogy of, of retold fairy tales Together that up. she wrote. I think it reviews Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Okay. That just came out the other day, I believe. Or no, or did it last week? Something. Oh. Six of Crows. Oh, six of Crows. Okay. Oh, yes, that's right. Really, really cool. People really like the, you know, okay. um, Shadow and Bone series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And how about... Is that Chips? Anybody nominated Chips? 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 Pretty cover. Has anyone read the new Patrick Ness book? Oh, oh so yeah. I have it. The Rest of Us Just Live Here? The Rest of Us Just Live Here. That was published in uh, late August, so. I remember, sure I remember hearing about it. I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get us together to talk about this, because I want to make sure that we don't ignore any of the awesome books that are being published. I mean, ideally, in a couple of years, they'll start sending them to us without us, you know, prodding them. But right now, we need to harass them. How do we get them to not send us? Half the stuff I, I that's, wish that's the real, that's I, the real part. I wish I knew and part of me really wishes and I do this with DCF too I wish I could just like throw a bunch of them away well I was trying not to be too judgmental so I was giving a couple a chance so I read like six in a row just one or two chapters so I was like this is you know, yeah and I thought that right. in the last box the small box I received I just yeah there was yeah. barely anything. Only, my last box only had one book in it that I thought was yeah. yeah. What about if we got any poison pencil press? Poison pencil? Oh. Poison pencil is the young adult uh, version of poison pen mystery press. Oh right. And you know, we didn't we didn't get one and I was just wondering. I can certainly talk to them. Yeah. Um, what do they have coming out? See. Um, some of them were pretty good. And they haven't sent anything. Well, they may not be on my list of contacts. So, so can... send send a note to the editor and say I sent you. Yeah, you betcha, huh? Yeah. Anything in particular? Well, I mean anything special? No, I ju I just okay. I just found out about them because I met the editor and I didn't know the poison pencil existed. So I don't know whether they're thriller or murder mysteries or what they are. Worth considering. Yeah. But it'd be worth, yeah. you know. Um, those small presses like when we ask them. So I will um, I'll send them an email. Yeah. Send them an email and say, are you interested? Brilliant. And you might say, don't send us volume twos and threes. Don't, you know, um, yeah. and it has to be published this year. And yeah, just some to, of them listen. Yeah, some of them don't. Oh God, girl online. Well, so you got Queen B. See, so a got, lot of these are, are secondary. Yeah. Everything. What's this? Oh, one? the it's new like game. This new game. That it's, one? it's a. It's basically a short story that's been turned into. New one. Is it new or is it? Yeah, no. it's, it is new, but it's it's not really. I don't know. Is I don't think it really fits. I don't think it really. Fits. I don't think I've ever read a single Neil Gaiman book that I actually liked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the original story was published in Rags and Bone, so it wouldn't qualify. Yeah, right. yeah. It's a it's a it's a short story that's been turned into like make it look bigger with all the illustrations. Trying to make money from it. Um, oh, there's the Patrick, Patrick Ness book. Um, see if there's anything. Well, we don't want to read Playing the Player. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these look terrible. My art prob. Barb. What is this one? This one right here looks like a whip. <laughs> Comically bad. <laughs> I'm 
the one that got away. <laughs> motorcycle Club Romance. That's Hades really Spawn scary. Motorcycle Club Series. Book two. Green Mountain Book Award Motorcycle Club <laughs> Series. That's fantastic. You don't want that. You're buying that. I know you are. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> one day I was looking for, like, um, just just for fun on Amazon, what were the best-selling hockey books? And I found out about this whole series of, like, um, th books this madam turns a pro hockey team into her gigolos, <gasps> and it's this whole series. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was just, I, I, I never knew this existed. Ooh, what's this one? That's really scary. Has anyone read The Way Back from Broken? Um, you know what? I just got it, and somebody on DCF was pushing it. It sounds like it's a high school book, though. Well, I it's heard it Adolescence one fifteen and one ten, so it's one of those that could cross either one. Okay, let me have her read it. Yet. She loved it. She said um, that it's the best grief book she's ever read. Okay, but she was pushing it for the younger kids, which I don't think. Um, Okay. Usually the DCF doesn't have a lot of grief books. I like the cover. So I don't know. It might be one of those. Oh no, books. more high school realism. <laughs> There's um. There. What do you got? There's a giant, giant book that's being released at the end of October called Illuminae. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Billy Bolt. A, a whopping 600 pages. Oh, <laughs> I gave somebody yeah. a copy. I gave you the ARC. Yeah. I just got the copy and the library. It's giant. Yeah. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> that's, I've been in that's probably fine. I haven't read that yet. I read it. What did you think? Terrible. No, I know I did not like it. Yeah, I mean I ended up skimming the last 200 pages, but it was not. Didn't even make it. I know it's fine. Yeah, that happened. I don't think if I don't read it all, I I don't read them. It's that's probably. Yeah, it's true. Well, if somebody it's reads it and loves it, it what do the reviews say? <laughs> um, grade seven and up. I've got to go. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. I will... You said you were recording this? <laughs> yes, I'm recording it, and I will send you notes and the recording, and I will um, be requesting these books from the publishers. I guess we'll be able to watch it from, like, the last half in to see what I missed. Betcha. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Erin. Bye. I'd like to take a look at, I haven't read it, I would like to um, pirate hunters, nonfiction and search for a legendary pirate ship. Oh, man. Pirates? pirates. I like pirates. pirates. Are <laughs> that sounded to you, or were you I'm not sure you said that? Uh, well, I'm not personally excited about it, but it sounds like a lot of people would be. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that was, yeah. That's the kind of thing I would definitely buy. Ooh, that looks interesting. Okay. Pirate hunters that could <laughs> And just looking for other nonfiction options as well. well. Yeah, we don't have a lot of nonfiction. Is this an adult book? The cover looks like it. Daniel James Brown is reviewing me. Yeah. Senator John McCain reviewed it. <laughs> Lee Child reviewed it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is it now stopping? No, actually, oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, look, if we're looking for nonfiction, what about FDR and the American Crisis? Did anybody else? I think, it, yeah, I, I, I read it. I, I mean, I think it's great. I just don't, I just don't see people. I just don't see teens. Being oh, excited really? about reading. Okay, is it, is it the, the way thing. the stupid press laid it out? Kind of, yeah. Did anyone else they should be hung because yeah. it really is good. Yeah. And they make it look like a textbook. Right, yeah. yeah. It does look like a textbook. Yeah. And, you know, and it shouldn't be that way. It should be a real book. 
And I'm sure they did it because they wanted to get the pictures in. But the pages, everything about it says cool. textbook, textbook, uncool. And it's too bad because it'd be really good. Did anyone else read the book, Tom, the Tommy Gun? Look, it's right there. I, I've like flipped through that a little bit, but same thing. I like the beginning of it. I like the premise. I oh, found it fascinating. If someone wants to take it home with them, can we um, put it on a list without having an RI people on our back? No, I mean, it's fascinating. It's the history of America through the machine gun. Okay. Could we take a look yeah. at, in this one, on, uh, just wondering, all the major constellations by Fatima, I think that's how you say her name, Vance. And this was, she's a student of one of my teachers, I think going to my College of Fine Arts. And I know the publisher is pushing this um, at our school and stuff because my teacher works at our school. You kind of start with you and publish a weekly. So I think it just came out. Okay. Or no, it's coming out November 10th. Sorry. Okay, it's a major publisher. Us some copies. So I might have trouble getting stuff from um, more obscure publishers, but this is Viking, so I should be able to. Sorry, what was the problem? All the major constellations. And I haven't read it yet. Okay. Um, I yeah. changed my opinion of it. We actually, she, the publisher sent us five copies or so to take a look at it at our school and have a group read because we may have the author come to see. Um, so if I get into it and decide, no, I'll let you know. Okay. That's fine. I mean, if there are books that you're just dying to read, just tell me. I'm, the worst thing that will happen is you don't like it. Right. I was just noticing that what's more of a new book. There's a new um, Gary D. Schmidt, too, and I think I remember reading the... Orbiting um, Jupiter? Uh, yeah, I, see, I remember it's like on the border of like DCF. So, Orbiting... Is a 15-year-old character, maybe? The character is... Thir well, one is 13 and one is 12. Oh, okay. okay. The problem with that book is... Um, well, I read it one night and I saw it harder than I've ever saw it before. Um, it's, I think it's written for adults. It's about a kid who in, gets a girl pregnant, he's 13, and then he gets thrown into a juvenile detention center and then he goes to a foster home um, and the end is grueling, absolutely horrifying. Yeah, I just wanted to remember. It's beautifully it. written. Absolutely stunning. I think maybe I saw the description, so I didn't think it was 13 year old. I think, yeah, right. I mean, pregnancy. Well, it says on the list that you can you can have adult books that kids will like. Well, the the problem with this is the main character is 13. So, well, look how many people read On to Kill a Mockingbird and she's seven. True. <laughs> so. It's true. I mean, I can I can definitely request it. Um, but we have copies too from um, DCF. I don't think it's going to end up on DCF. There's the boys in the boat, you know, which is definitely for adults. Yeah, the thing with orbiting Jupiter is that I don't know that it has a like. If I was in a library, I wouldn't know where to shelve it. I would have no idea. I'd give it to fellow librarians. But there's, you know, there's those books that you feel like they're written for librarians. Yeah. Well, if it gets a JMBA award, <laughs> then you know where to show them. <laughs> I mean, we can do these for others. <laughs> there's not an author out there that doesn't need help. <laughs> Is Afterwards, Afterworlds, by the way, the West Westfeld? Westfeld. Yes, but is it the one about... There's a double clock. There's the girl who gets, oh, that made me so mad. I get so upset if that goes on. Why? Because it has, it, it suggests to every teenage writer that YouTube will have a $100,000 contract 
and you can go through all this crap, which if he were satirical about it, I'd be happy. But no, no, this is this is what it's like to be a teen author. And I was just sitting there. It's a fantasy. Because oh, I really like the guy. I like him. Oh, his, his steampunk trilogy was terrific. I mean, every single word. Um, and love the narrative, you know, all the way through. But boy, after a little time, it's really upset. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I jump up and down and scream, but nobody will know. No. Okay. It's an uh, Afterworlds book too. I was worried. Um, better they should read every last word. Oh, there's a new cover. It must be the paperback cover. Switching. I don't understand why covers keep getting yeah. redesigned from the paperbacks. It's really hard to keep continuity in the space mm -hmm. and for people to understand what's what. Sometimes I will see. I clicked on that cover and I get the other one. Interesting. It's really annoying though. I understand sometimes the paperback cover was way better at branding for the book, but it's really annoying. Yeah, there have been a couple that have been really bad. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually click on that. Thank you, Amazon. We should get all of them. Yes, we should. <laughs> He's Wait, so what is this one? Zero? Stuff. This is a new one. Yeah. This one just came out. Has anyone seen this one at all? Jesus, bringing out two in a year? Well, afterwards was last year. Oh, that's what it said. That was September twenty ninth, twenty fifteen. What's wrong with that? Oh, this is the new one. Nothing. Yeah. Afterworlds was last year. Oh, okay. Let's give him a try with zeros. Let's see. Let's see if it was related. No, he's really good. You know. Our reviews. And it's Marlo Lanigan. I bet you like Marlo Lanigan. I like weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you like stuff that I can't finish. <laughs> cool. All right. Anything else? Any other authors that we should be checking in with who might have new books? Are we, you're going to write for all these books that we're going to read before December? Um, How are we going to get them Before March. How are we going to get them all? I'm going to get to you. You want to send them? You don't. My guess is too, I mean, mm -hmm. Laura, just so you know, you are being far more diligent in your box reading than I have to admit that I am being. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot more of like read 20, 25 pages and then I'm like, Okay. You know, sometimes I give them 40. Oh, I'm doing And then I pass that. through. So, um, I know, and a lot of these, you know, there's no realistic, there's no way I'm going to read everything on that document she just wrote before, like, no. the next meeting. So, I've been trying to read, you know, the, the things that are coming up oh, a lot. This is I'm the one. I'm trying to read. So, you know. Oh, if you yeah, get this yeah, one, yeah, I just yes. started it. It's so awesome. awesome. Yeah, you don't, don't, I just don't want you to, to I, I I don't want you to do so well, so crazy with how much reading. Yeah, I had a list at home of books yeah. that I didn't get to write. So that's the one, Murphy. I've heard wonderful stuff about this one. I just started it and I already love it. Um, so what will happen is the next, the final push for nominations will be January, and that January meeting, um, we will be finalizing the list of books that everyone has to read. And then we'll have a list of like 40 books that everyone has to read for the March meeting. So it won't go on forever. But does it count? Does it count if you've already read them? Of course. Yes. Yeah. So you don't have to read them again. No. 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 no, no, no. Just make sure you remember enough. To oh no, out. I could skip. I read. I read for Random House for a while when my children were. I was paid nine dollars an hour. This was some time ago. I was paid nine dollars an hour to cover three 200 manuscripts an hour. Nice. I got so I could do six. There's another thing they can write for me. I can't just with it so far. So, yeah, I can do that. But then, you know, there's some that I threw out. How it went are, down. Okay. okay. Which I read and put it down and said, eh, this is fake. So, I may not have been fair. Huh? Right, right. Well, and hopefully then somebody else will catch. Yeah. That's why someone else will catch and draw your attention to it if you need to. I'm just going through to see if there's anything else we missed. 
Um, okay, so I got Dumplin. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye on the books that I get in and things that are, like, really cool that I think you guys will love. Um, I will keep you um, in mind for. So the books that are on the table. I'm sorry, Paige, you're missing all the books that I have here. Um, but I promise whatever's left, I will put in the boxes for next time. Um, I... Um, these are books that either I loved, which I gave my two favorite to Kayla here early, and um, the rest are books that you might be interested in. You don't have to read them. If they don't look good, you can add them to your collections or give them away. I don't care. I just don't want them anymore. But there's some good stuff. Some of them, There are some sequels, too, um, and some books that look promising. Is there a, a some way you could limit what the, what the editor sends you? All no. or nothing. I know. It's all or nothing. No, because if you said no series, they don't. That would cut. That would cut a lot. The good thing is, is when you open your boxes, you can just put those aside. I do. I do. I know. But when you put them all aside, you begin to wonder why someone paid for the postage. <laughs> well, you wonder why they pay to send these books out. So the last box for BCF that we sent out was I text dead people, um, which looked like a real winner. There was one of those YOLO, Juliet, whatever those books are. There was one of those. Um, there were a couple of sequels that no one's ever going to read. Um, something about a broccoli boy, really? Um, yeah, that's the kind of stuff they send. There's not much we can do about it. They're free, so that's, that's something at least. Um, all right, so... I'd be happy to read these ones, the new books that you're putting down. I'll, I don't work. I mean, I do, but I don't. Okay? So I do have time to read them. Well, so what I'll do, go ahead and send them to me. Because I got more time than I would if I had a full time job. You know? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this list. I'll send it out to everybody. I will try to get copies from the publishers. If you can get them other ways, do it. Um, and if there are other books that you read that you desperately think everyone should read or if you just want to get other opinions about um, or books that have mediocre um, nominations, please let me know. Um, and I don't know. What else? Um, we made Sumamni the new secretary because she said yes. Um, so she's the secretary. I think for now, Mosh, this is Mosh's last meeting. I think for now we're okay. I think we have a big enough committee that we'll, we'll lend along. Um, and we can send the extra books. We can send them to Laura if you want to get the extra books. Volumes <laughs> three and four, not okay. <laughs> um, and um, then. For the some next, of these that aren't on this list, well, some of them aren't on this list because I really didn't want like them. Okay. Oh, um, these are all books that other people recommended. So basically, the list is whether I agreed with the recommendation or not. Um, but there, some of these obviously are on there, and I don't know whether they're not. I. The titles aren't even familiar. So, if you want to get rid of them, send them along. This year, okay. So, we'll have another meeting in January in Heinberg? Not in December, in January. January? Okay. Where? In Heinsberg. Um, I will send out a doodle poll um, and then. We're in Heinsberg. I don't want to get lost again. <laughs> it's up. It's up from where I work at Champlain Valley Union High School. Okay. So. I I read for. And then we'll have our all-day meeting where we fight it out. 
in March early or late. We can decide later. Usually better for those of us trying to read. That's, okay. that's usually an all-day meeting. Though. That's an all-day meeting. And we bring food, and that's going to be at Montpelier High School. Okay. Um, you see the wine place? Yes. Okay. Yes, I know. What? Is that Montpelier High School? Oh, uh, okay. on my notes. Was that in anyone else's notes? We'll do it. I'll find your spot. Maybe yeah. we decided that without her. Did we decide that without her? I think she she I, I think her? she said we could have it at my place too. So like A B A. Oh, I was wondering if I Yeah, I suppose I can. <laughs> the problem is she, she doesn't even know, know she volunteered. Day. Right. So it's during a school day. But we're yeah. but I'll figure that out. Let me figure a date, then I'll see what spaces we have available to meet. Okay. I mean we don't have to do it during the week either. I mean we could do it on weekends. I um, if I also meant my actual home. <laughs> what I said, my place, but I don't know. I might have met my school. It's the night driving. Night driving. And the in, yeah. in the snow. And she stopped. Well, March. March. Slush. Oh, that's mud. Mud season. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking January. Yeah, January. We'll have another meeting like this. So, is Montpelier still okay? Yeah. All right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll send out notices because for the all day meeting, we probably no, all need a bit of better no, heads up, no. longer heads up. Um, so I'll send out doodle polls for that. So keep an eye on your March calendars. Um, does anyone have a preference you guys want to do during the week, a weekday, for real? Paige, how do you feel about that, the March meeting? Paige? Uh, sorry, you were cutting out a little bit. Sorry. So I missed I missed where we were having our meeting yeah, so and we, what the question was. That's okay. We have a meeting in January in Hinesburg. And then okay. the all-day meeting in March is in March earlier. Um, do you have a preference for a weekday or a weekend day for the all-day meeting? Well, I guess... Uh, I would, I don't know, because I would prefer, I mean, weekends are freer, but um, only because I don't have to work, but then I do have to work some Saturdays, and it would be harder to get coverage for Saturdays than for weekdays. Okay. For me, if that makes sense. It does, actually. Um, then I'm going to send out a doodle poll with lots of options, and you guys can just scour your calendars, and we'll try to find a day that make, makes everyone happy. Mm -hmm. Or equally unhappy, um, and I'll send out I'll send that out soon um, because I know everyone has to arrange their schedules for that. Um, so January will be the last push for nominations, um, and in the January meeting we will be finalizing our list of what everyone has to read for the March meeting. And so between January and March, everyone will have their nose in a book. Um, anything else? Yeah, one win. When you read the spreadsheet on mm -hmm. nominations, um, sometimes it would be really nice if they could be organized by author or something so that you can see that a book is coming. I know you can click on it, but it doesn't always work. So, you know, sometimes you find a book has been recommended three times, mm -hmm. but it's not together. Can I, then you can look at the other sheet. So the other sheet is the one, um, hold on a sec. Yeah, the one that's called ranked. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sue. Okay, so here's the nominations, the raw nominations. This is organized by author's last name, or actually, oh, this is my name. Right? Oh, I might have. You already organized it. If you click it by I'll author, it. then it should be by author, right? It usually is, but Sue messed it up. Okay. Yeah, well, that's about to change. Well, yeah, maybe we that's why I got messed up. Because if I'm, you click. If you click up top at the C, it'll give you an option, a drop-down menu to do A to Z or Z to A. Oh, that's weird. Uh, let me just do. I just did it in Z timestamp, so it should have just gotten fixed. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Like, they want to do a biography. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. So I usually keep that one. You did that just by clicking up there at the top. Mm-hmm. And can I do but that? You have to do it, it, right? I have to do it. Um, and I keep it that way 
except when um, the ones at the bottom, geez, this trackpad has it in for me. Um, so you, it it helps doesn't, you. I keep it that way, except when you guys add nominations at the bottom, they stay clumped at the bottom until I put them in the ranked one. And then I have to resort it all. And we can always email you and remind you. Yes. Do it. I've done exactly. that. And you can actually, even on the ones, because I know I've done it, on the ones that aren't sorted, you can do a temporary sort just yourself to look at it. Um, it doesn't actually change the spreadsheet unless, unless yeah. So I know there was a bunch of nominations that just happened, so I'm going to have to go through it and um, re-figure out the rankings. I'm going to have to re-sort it. I'm um, sorry. You ruined everything. <laughs> but that's why we have the two lists, so that you can, um, so that you can see both ways. Um, and the ranked ones is so that you know I'm what... Sorry. I'm fired. <laughs> see what happens when I give you passwords? <laughs> um, the ranked one is so you know which ones you have to read. So anything, what did we decide? We said originally five yeah. and above. Yeah. I think we'll be able to decide on, in January what that number actually okay. is. Okay. It's going to depend on. Because we'll want to have like around like. We know the target number. So the ones towards the top you have to read. So if you have nothing else to do, you might as well read one of those. Um, and then the ones towards the bottom are some of the ones that people um, would like it if you read. Oh, see, Audacity has two votes. I, I mean, I can really take it or leave it. I, I would not fight for that one. It's one that if other people read it and said, oh, yeah, fun. Okay. Oh, I'll give you the sun. Did anyone else read oh, that I, one? I did. I think I, I think I'm nominated it. I think I, I'm reading it right now. Okay. I read it. I just thought it was okay. Yeah, I couldn't get through it. I was really annoyed by the, she and I the way they that voice spoke. Book. Yeah, yeah, totally. I wanted to bring up one other thing that we're having a book list. Uh-oh. No, no, no. It's just an idea I had. I just wanted to bring it up before I forgot. Okay. I didn't want to sort of like lose, you know, fade from my memory. Um, it was an idea for the potential dynamic landscapes presentation. Oh, well, well. So, you know, we were talking about instead of creating a handbook that we would create um, more of an idea website or something for, you know, teachers and librarians to connect yeah. the books. So I thought that if we, at Dynamic Landscapes, if we had at least eight, I know in the past we've had like three or four people present, but if we had at least eight people, or, or I always want to say we have 16 books, but we only have 15, because I always do these brackets. Anyway. Oh, yeah. We have okay. 15. So say like we had seven or eight people mm -hmm. at Dynamic Landscapes and we each had two books. We could then do like a whole like breakout thing where there would be like a five minute rotation, uh, like stations. Almost like that, speed dating. Right, that people would go to. So say, say there's 20 people in the room and we had eight stations. You know, they'd split up and two or three people at each station. And then the person at that station would then explain to them and, and show them an activity of how to connect, you know, those two books. And then we'd say, switch, and then you go to the next station. And so that one person would be the expert of those two books telling the people how to connect their, you know, patrons to the title. And it could be, it could be one station could, could just be book talks. that People sit down and you're, yeah. you're giving them a book talk. One station could be a really dynamic tech tool. One station could be visuals, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, just an idea. Instead of giving a presentation, doing more like one-on-one -on -one station work with yeah. people. I like it. Okay. Josh is like, cool. But I like it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I just want to throw that idea. We don't obviously don't have to decide right now. Right? I just think you've given a lot of time for. Yeah. I don't care. He's kind of well, he'll be asking. Just well, popped into my head. I put him in charge a long time ago. I think he took it to heart. Yeah. yeah, she said, be in charge of creating the new, like the non-handbook. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, and 
I actually talked to a couple of high school teachers um, through other channels who love the idea of having more, I like more hands-on ideas of what to do with these books and how to sell them. So, yeah, I think. Um, like one idea could be instead of like one station could be instead of where we just list those little paragraphs in the handbook about curriculum and tie-ins, like maybe one station is just two lesson plans for those the two books at that station. You know, just just pass them out to everybody and sure. explain them. I don't know. Yeah. I like it. Definitely um, like the idea of people getting up and moving around. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And maybe if they have something to do, mm -hmm. that could help. Um, absolutely. We so do. The, the DCF one is awful. It's not awful. It's just it's all of us sitting in a chair in chairs and we just go through the list to give like a 30 second book talk to it. With 30 books, it's really hard to do in mails. So we have kind of a luxury of having 15 books. We can have more fun with it. I think it could be good. All right. Anything else? So our next meeting is in January, and our agenda is to come up with a, li a finalized list that yes. will be the must-read list for March. That's it. Okay. That will be the last push. Okay. And, okay. and you're sending a pulse. Oh, yes. Oh, I'll do that. Do you want help doing all those things? I don't, I mean, we can help. Because I feel like you sort of have, like, you're like, oh, I have to do all those things. Like, okay. 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 It's, not, it's not too hard. Um, okay. But I do, I will coordinate with people who are operating the space. Last year it was, yeah, yeah the past two years I think it's been like 41 or 42. <laughs> exactly. Ready to bring 40, that's fine. Yeah. Title, mm -hmm. 40 titles. Okay. That's you. just the number that everyone will have read, so those will be part of the discussion. Okay. Yeah. And that's just the numbers it's been the past two years. But I think we probably would at least want like 25 or 30. At because least. you want the you want there to be a nice debate. This is the DCF. Is it? Cool. This is yeah, very interesting because all of them are pretty confident. But only so far, only two are being super outstanding. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the ones that are published right now will be stellar. I'm hoping. That's usually the way it works. It's the later ones? Yeah, usually the fall and the, the winter published publications, those are the those are the standouts. I don't know why. Maybe it, the publishers they want a lot to the book fair in February when they the book. And the holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, All right, Paige, I think we're gonna wrap up. Um I will try a hundred sideways plan with that miss Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, I will send out Google polls. I'll send out notes. I'll send out recording of this. Um, thank you so much for putting up with our technology. Bye. Bye. You can see my fingers. <laughs> Maybe you love. Oh, just kidding. I just remember you having. I remember disliking. Uh,